Howdy, 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 my beautiful Leo. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for September. All right, Leo, see what's happening for you. If you enjoy this tarot reading today, check out the link on the top right hand corner of your screen, darling, because I'll leave a link to my pick a card reading for my first September. All right, maybe you'll enjoy that. And let's just get right into this tarot reading here today, Leo. All right, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus sign. If you enjoy this tarot reading, be sure just to toss this video a like and subscribe because it helps me out a lot. All right, so Leo, you have the Ten of Pentacles here in the back of the deck all right ten of pentacles stability coming in finances financial investments are starting to pay off in tenfold here all right if you have invested obviously i'm not a financial major darling okay but obviously if you have invested into something if you've been putting a lot of work into a project maybe you've been working overtime at your job here uh leo i see advancement just in career i see things further stabilizing you finally being able to put sink your roots into uh into things things are going to be calming down for you i feel leo in september i feel like this is going to be like a catch-up month for you <clears throat> eight of wands afterwards all right so eight of wands is a car is the card of movement some of you might be traveling uh here leo but i also get the sense here of where leo you're going to be noticing in the coming days of where it's just like a lot of things are going to be working them like working out in a really fabulous way all right eight of wands that can be known as like quick success coming in and with the ten of pentacles if you have a business or if you're in sales in whatever type of way leo this is a direct message for you darling of where it's just like you're going to be making a lot of sales here in september you're going to be making a lot of money here darling all right i also get to if you're traveling in September, Leo. You're going to be able to make some really solid connections there because with the Ten of Pentacles, this is like sharing a table all in some um, some are illustrations of the Ten of Pentacles. Anyways, uh, Leo, it's an illustration of a bunch of people who are vastly different from one another sharing a table. All right. And so with that card of traveling here, if you travel or if you go if you not even just like in a sense of like because many people think about traveling in a sense of like leaving the state or country or whatever this is like a sense of like you choosing to travel out of like your normal routine right your normal pathings right so if you've been thinking about trying out that new coffee place i feel like you'd be really valuable there right you have the five of swords coming in here now why is that five of swords though darling king of pentacles okay so this is an i'm sure this has been a nice message for you to hear up until this point leo right because this is reading off to me of where it's like you've been having a lot of hardships when it comes to trying to stabilize things and i feel like for you uh leo that's really all that you are craving is things finally taking root if things like it's like the scenario that i see it's like you're continuously tr you're just trying to get you like you're planting the seeds and you're just trying to get the seeds to fully develop so you can start uh having a good heart harvest but it's like so hard for you to be able to grow these seeds into something that's actually profitable because something always ends up happening uh that stops it here and so that's yeah i like this a lot for you here in the cherry energy that can cancerian energy here uh leo <clears throat> now with this chariot energy coming in here uh i kind of see this leo there's like something that you're sitting on in your head about taking action on maybe you're thinking about being like oh maybe i should go back to school and uh get a different certification for something i feel like it's like an energy of like you have like thoughts of amplifying something right maybe you're thinking about taking like a course on being like a youtuber or just whatever like a course on whatever it is that you're interested in and i feel like you need like this is like a blessing or maybe you're thinking about traveling going to like um a retreat or a resort it's like doing like some type of in initial investment uh leo i keep wanting to call you cancer now so maybe you have cancer in your chart but um i get like this initial investment for you leo on something that pays off big time maybe you're thinking you've been debating on getting into like cryptocurrency or stocks or something like that as well i don't usually talk about cryptocurrency and stuff like that because i'm not very educated on a lot of it i know like bitcoin and ethereum and stuff like that but like that is something that's like really screaming out to me for some reason is like the sense of like cryptocurrency 
<clears throat> or just something in that type of nature of like investment all right high priestess yeah this is screaming out to me uh leo i don't know if i was showing the deck on camera up until this point but um this was in the back of the deck all right after that ten of pentacles all right so the high priestess this is a card of intuition listening to your intuition leo all right by listening to your intuition that's how you lean into that ten of pentacles all right so what thoughts have you been debating on leo that's my question to you have you been like sitting what idea have you been sitting on and you're just like oh yeah that sounds like it would be a really good idea if i actually put effort into that like what are you doing like what is it because but you need to lean into that more uh leo because that's what you how you get the ball going all right nine of cups coming in here on that eight of wands all right and so september for you i'm not gonna lie leo i mean this is all fabulous message here but i feel like for you september is a month where it's like the best has yet to come and so i'm not gonna lie and say to you leo where it's just like i just see like rainbows and sunshine sunshine getting engaged pregnant and marriage and you know all of that like i don't see all this happening in september for you but this nine of cups message lets me know where it's like by definition it's a card of a wish being granted but it lets me know for you leo where it's like the things that are coming to you it's just the initial signs about what's to come for you it's like you start getting you start being validated like the initial you start seeing the growth the, the the green arrow going up in your investments and it's just like starting to pick up more and more each day that's how i see this as all right so i don't want you know even in the back of the deck energy here for you leo september seems to overall just be a month of where you're going to be able to catch your breath stabilize and really start you know i feel like it's through that stabilization that's how you're finally going to be able to start you know having that upwards arrow that upwards growth finally leo this is your energy right with this strength card coming in here <clears throat> you have the hermit card this card kept on trying to pop out as well and when i see this with the five of swords leo i associate this where it's just like you you have you know what you need to do leo you have like i see you being have been in this place of being really like reflective about a situation or about your just your situation in general leo i see you doing this and it's like you already know the answer like you are you're extremely intuitive here right you're extremely intuitive like you're sitting on some type of idea some type of impression that it's just like whatever the case is right this devil's like on your shoulder here like almost like convincing you that it's a bad idea or that it's like psychic it's like you're psyching yourself out that's how i see with this here it's like you're potentially psyching yourself out uh leo whatever the case that this is about and i feel like that's such a disservice to you what are like what like i'm truly just asking you leo like what is what is it that you're psyching yourself out about because it's just like if you actually were to do it, the Eight of Wands blessing really just increases the momentum about that there. All right. So let's get these extra cards over here and put them to the side. <laughs> All right. We have the Lovers card coming in afterwards here, uh, Leo. Now, what is this Lovers about? Because the Lovers card is an extremely complex card. Um, Six of Wands here. Mm -mm and the magician okay darling <clears throat> so i'm gonna take this in two ways here socially i don't really get too much from this to be honest here leo i'm not gonna like i know like when you see the lovers everyone's just like oh love da, 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 but i don't really get social with this right the lover's energy is a very is probably one of the most complex cards in the deck because of how much it represents how much symbology is associated with the lovers i see this personally as um leo as where it's like <sighs> there's like because the lovers represents the complexity the hard decisions where it's like you're weighing things out right and it's like this is what you would consider like the important business decisions honestly and when i see the six of wands my favorite card in the minor arcana and the magician energy it's like the big decision that you need to make while it might be something that's normally out of your comfort zone something you haven't done before seven of cups energy while it's not something you normally would dabble in or do leo 
that's how you get really like that victory, that success, right? You take the literal meanings, Leo, of the Six of Wands. That's the fame and fortune card. The magician energy is the embodiment of manifesting what you feel spiritually into the actual, um, into the actual reality. You usually see with the arms or the hands of the magician, one hand is usually pointed upwards, reach, referencing to the divine, right? Your soul's purpose, and then pointing to the ground as well. Leo bringing it to the earth you have the magician that has all the suits uh, associated with them the cups the wands the swords using every all the tools in their toolbox to manifest the reality that they want you have the, and it pairs well with the seven of cups because I feel like that kind of tells you a message Leo of being more open-minded considering more options having your hands dipped into more than uh, multiple things rather than just hyper focusing on one thing if I was a Leo or had Leo in my chart I would see this as being like, okay, I need to do more than just tarot. I need to expound, expand and dabble in other things because that's where you get this sex, sex, six of wands energy, right? With that, the success, the, the fame, the wealth that comes with you experimenting, right? And that's not to say, Leo, that like you continually doing like other certain things is like something that you should like stray away from, but it's like expanding on it. Even with the A of Wands, this is a card of movement, expanding, picking up and trying out, feeling out each wand, Leo, and seeing not me already having on my set here two different wands here, right? The Eight of Wands is the embodiment though leo truly of where it's just like all right like let me how's this wand feel you know like in the harry potter um <laughs> i think it's harry potter yeah it's harry potter where it's like you have to harry has to find the right wand so it's like you're trying each one out feeling the weight of it seeing how it feels and how it fits with you and seeing what you are able to create with that wand right so yeah that's how i want you to see this as uh leo there's so many signs in this that talk about experimentation and really all you need to do is just to go forward with it right you've already seen the signs you already have been getting all the hints and clues leo of what you need to do right is you can't escape it anywhere when you go on youtube i have this <laughs> ah <laughs> when you go on youtube right all your recommendations are all reminding you of that i have another <laughs> ah <laughs> sounded like an elephant at the end there. <laughs> right like i feel like you're consistently being reminded in all different ways repetitive numbers like everywhere leo and you just need to take action on it trust that you're going to be taken care of during this journey here but you have to be like you don't have to darling but i would just say that like experimentation you will not regret it whatsoever leo all right you have the full moon in Taurus detoxify. <clears throat> full moon in Taurus detoxify. You have the first quarter, quarter moon in Capricorn uh, unleashing your kindest self and leaving the past behind. Last quarter moon in Capricorn. Some some type of situation here, uh, Leo. Some type of situation made you feel type of way here, but I feel like you are trying your best to not stay bitter about those situations, staying bitter about, you know, you fell off your horse. Maybe there was a certain project, certain investment that didn't pay out. And I feel like your mission right now, Leo, is just to continue moving forward without having previous situations making you feel just bitter, essentially there, right? leaving the past behind seeing it for what it is but that's like also a, uh, a struggle some people well everyone has not just some people um will have on their spiritual journey is learning how to identify an obstacle and be like all right is this a spiritual message for me to realign readjust to see through it is this a challenge for me to see through or is this something of substance or is this just something that happened right you know rather than getting into spiritual psychosis and this is like a direct message where it's just like spirits telling you, Leo, where it's just like, don't put much meaning into into that situation, darling. All right. Move on from it. There's nothing to gain from it. There's no depth. Just keep it moving. All right. So that's how I see this as, which is like, don't put don't add meaning to stuff that doesn't need to have meaning. <clears throat> All right, so we have the new moon and eclipse coming in, expecting a powerful change coming in here, expecting the powerful change. But I will put add on to this here, Leo. All right, don't be angry with me, but I will add on the change only comes in 
right? S with this energy here, with experimentation, with you taking action and trying to finally listen to your intuition there, all right? That's when the change will come in. Void, of course, moon coming in here. Nothing will come of the situation here. What is the situation that this is referencing to? Ace of Pentacles coming in for you with the six of cups in the reverse all right so what you need to accept that's not going to change from this here leo is that i feel like there is this change of course change of approach here you can't keep doing the same thing that you have been doing and hope to have the same or better results that's really what this is here it's just like don't allow things to be stale all right conclusions are within reach full moon and eclipse so if you've been going through like that financial block maybe it's been hard for you to get a lot of recognition on your business on your hustle leo all right the conclusions are easily within reach you just have to change how you're going about it right the intent is still the same right i mean the uh yeah like the intent of what it is you're wanting to accomplish is still the same the objective is still the same leo it's just a matter of like changing courses of how you get from point a to point b does that make sense it's not a situation and it's like easily doable here it's not something you, you need to just drastically shift all right, Leo. So that's the tarot reading that I have for you, darling. Hopefully something in this resonated. Be sure to check out my monthly pick a card reading. All right. For your monthly reading, uh, Leo, and I'll connect with you at a later point in time. Bye, darling.